Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade Four. We are learning Unit One. Its title is Tolerance. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children. Under the title of reading and thinking skill, we are going to learn about short and long vowel sound. Before this, in English for Grade Four, I have already taught you about short and long vowel sounds. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to learn further to pronounce and practice long and short vowels and diphthongs. Diphthongs we'll practice tomorrow. Today, our focus is on long and short vowel sounds. As they occur in practice, items and sentences in reading lesson and in speech. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah Muzammil, verse 4. Or a little more and recite the Quran properly in a measured way. Yes, my dear children. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us a beautiful principle of learning. And what is that? First you learn and then keep on adding little more, little more, little more. This is how we keep on increasing in our knowledge. And this is the same way we should practice reciting Quran. So beta, all of you, do you recite Quran? Are you learning how to recite Quran properly? Because Allah is saying recite Quran properly. So inshallah, we have to work hard in our Quran lessons, in our Tajweed. And better whatever we speak, we should speak it properly. This is what we are learning. So we have already learned about walls, their sound. So it's time to learn little more, inshallah. Okay, so first you tell me, what is a vowel? And what is a short vowel sound? I hope you remember, so pause the video and teacher Kindly take the answer of these two questions from every child. Yes, my dear children, I hope you have answered correctly and you remember that the walls are A, E, I, O, U. These five letters are called walls. And what are their short sounds? When we say there are short sounds, A as A, E as E, I as E. O as O and U as O. These are called their short sounds. And their, their, their names are their long sounds. Remember? So I'll explain it again in today's lecture. So short walls are used when we use them to refer to the sounds that most often correspond to the letters A, E, I, O, U, as I just told you. And when the wall comes individually, between consonants. So the principle is when a wall comes alone, individual, and there are consonants around that wall, we'll say it, we'll use it short sound. Okay? So short wall sound rule is when there is one wall in a word, either at the beginning or between two consonants, it usually has the short wall sound. You understand? So you look at the word and you find there is only one wall in that word. Either no matter what, it's beginning or between consonants. The letter which is all alone, the alone wall will give its short sound. Okay? So when it's long, okay, I'll tell you. Here is the rule. Long wall sound often come when two walls appear side by side means there are two walls they are coming together in a syllable when sound of the letters a e i o u match the spoken name of the letter so the rule is when a word has two walls now you find you identify there are two walls they are coming together so i have taught you a short song about it do you remember when two walls are walking, the first does the talking and says its name. This is the rule. When two walls are walking, 
they first does the talking and says its name and what is what are the names they are like um, for letter a it's a e it's e these are the names they are face the, the letters which we know those are the long sounds of these walls okay so when two walls appear together usually the first wall says its name that is long sound and the second wall is silent such as now look at these words this is a word and you find there are two walls they are coming together so what rule we are going to apply the first letter will say the first wall will say its name and second will remain silent so what is the first letter what what is the first wall that's a so how we are going to say this word rain both o will give its long sound and a will remain silent each e will give its long sound and a will remain silent okay and the second rule i'm telling you is the ending the word with an e if a word is ending on e this is called bossy e it makes its the wall which is coming before e it makes it to pronounce its long sound and it itself this e does nothing as in fire fire place this e is silent and this a is giving us long wall sound that's a that's why we read it as place are you getting it okay so let's practice the short sound of a is ant a as in ant a as in cat and it's a long sound as in cake, bake. Short sound of e is a as in jet, net. And long sound of e is e as in feet, leaf. So, a so short sound of i is e as in fish and fig. And long wall sound of I is I as in kite and ice cream. Short wall sound of O is O as in clock, dog. And long wall sound of O is O as in rope and boat. Short wall sound of U is A as in sun, jump. And it's U as in cute and unicorn. Okay, so these are different sounds. I have given you this chart. You can practice it. This is a table. All the walls have their short and long sounds. Teachers kindly pause the video over here and make the children to say properly long and short wall sounds. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So it's the time to practice from your book. And before that, let's do an activity, you know how to do it i'm going to check it what you are going to do your teacher will say a word or even just a wall sound and students have to call out the wall sound and tell whether it is long or short right teacher will say a word and you will tell it's long a or short a or long e so you have to listen carefully all of you be attentive, teacher kindly pause the video and make the children to enjoy this activity. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? So could you identify all the sounds correctly? Good job, smart work. So here we are going to practice from the book. You will pronounce each single wall sound made by both letters in the word. So you will say these words and find out their sounds. Likewise, you will pronounce these words and find out their sound. So pause the video and complete these two exercises. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So there are more practices. How you are going to, now you will write it. Pronounce the following words. Draw two columns in your notebook. Write the words that have long, short wall sound in column A and those having long wall sound in column B. So you will make column A for short wall sounds and column B for long wall sounds. So all of you be careful and you have to complete this activity in your notebooks. Pass the video, complete it. 
Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? That's wonderful. So I'm giving you a homework. And what this homework is, find 10 words that have short and long vowel sounds from your lesson and write these words in your notebook. And here is a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers. This worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, kindly print worksheet and provide students printed worksheet for practice. And my dear children, what you are going to do, you have to click on the picture that have a long wall sound in these words, okay? So you practice these long wall sounds from this group of words. So in this way, what we have learned, another, one is for long wall sound and the other is for short wall sound. We will practice the same for short wall sounds as well. So what we have practiced, we learned that when there is one wall in a word, either at the beginning or between two consonants, it usually has short vowel sound. And when a word has two walls, usually the first wall says its name, that's long vowel sound, and the second wall is silent, such as A in rain, O in boat, and E in peach. So in this way, we achieved our SLO to pronounce and practice long and short vowels. And diphthongs, inshallah, we'll practice tomorrow as they occur in practice items and sentences in reading lesson and in speech. Yes, my dear children, are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing, take very good care of yourself and the people around you. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.